Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how we can style the, the model. Uh, in the previous video we speak about the, how we can work with the model and how we can customize it. And in this video I will show how we can uh, change the, the styles on it. So you can make it as more like your way. So that's what we're going to learn today. And I really hope you want to see this video to the end. And I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel by click on the thing in the right corner below. Don't forget, all the code will be found on the GitHub. You can just go in for the description down below the video and found the link for my GitHub uh, profile. Thank you so much and uh, let's go in, uh, to code. Let's uh, create the, the first style. We will change the three ways uh, how the model will uh, work in like the small, medium, and then the, the extra large. So, that's what we're going to do now. So create a button and we want to bind it for model here and model XL. Open XL model. And large and small. That's what we're going to do. And we want the Y and primal. So, and class mark and right. So it doesn't look too weird. And then we need the models below here. And the B model, first one, should be ID model XL. And uh, then inside we need the size should be Excel and then title should be extra large model hello world and we just copy this three times and call it large and small and small and large here large and small so let's go in for the browser and see how that's react here let's open the Excel you can see it's filling up the page here if we take the model large that's the default value in the bootstrap view if you open uh, the model and don't configuration anything then we have the small one that's very small one so that's how we're working with that and uh, Let's go back to the editor. The model, uh, it's a supporting scrolling. So if you have a big uh, model, when you have, like uh, you want to show the, the terms and conditions of your, of your company, and then you can enable the scroll or you can just say you need to be a big one. And that's what we're going to, to work with now and how we can style that. And we need the buttons too. I'll just copy, copy this button. I don't want to tile anymore. And then we just call the first one for model tail and scrolling, scroll label. Just say this one scrolling model and overflowing model. That's what we kind of work with. And then we just take this one too. And the ID should be, and the size is doesn't matter, and overflow model. Inside here, I want to make a p tag, and class should be four from the i uh, x. So say v four i in 20 and the key is equal to i and what we're going to do it's uh, hello world this is overflowing sample we need to try out one more line to do 
and uh, then we just going back and create one more I'll just call this scroll label scroll label model and uh, the different is I can just say scroll label here and uh, the different is if you're going back for the browser and uh, it's overloading here you can see I need to scroll everything down and sometimes that's okay but the user can't be confusing so if you have the scrolling here it will fill out the browser and you can scroll down here to say reading my, my terms and condition before you accept and then you can say okay I've read it everything is fine so that's how you can style the, the scroll inside the bootstrap view and the model and uh, the next uh, step we got to work with uh, I think it's how we can launch uh, the model and how it can be more in the center if uh, you can see if you have this one this is in the top and the point one now it should be around here in the center so that's what we're gonna do now so let's go back for the editor and, and work with that I can just copy the bottom here and scroll down and see this one uh, model Center and just open model center and I can just copy this one And this last thing we need is just call sender. Let's go back for the browser and see how it's react. And you can see now it's just centered based on the data. So in some cases that makes sense, and it's it's make a very good point to do that. So that's how you can work with the center. So let's go back for the editor and continue. Like anything else in the in the Bootstrap view, we can style the model in in very. Uh, very nice way so let's just copy this one I'll just copy this and uh, so we can just see model here custom styled and this will be what one cost custom styled here B container yes that's what we're gonna do now and uh, when we have that we can continue the next step here I want to say the header background by end should be primary and the header text should be danger I know you will the text will be very hard to read so this is just a sample so we can say body background variance should be uh, info and the body text line should be um, light and the body footer background should be dark and the footer text should be uh, warning and then you we have the footer uh, border variance should be primarily and and we can say the ups here body uh, no but should be probably the header header border variant should be um, one something like that and uh, let's open this and see how that's react a little bit so you can see this 
what's happening inside here. And uh, custom style, we have a different uh, different uh, borders, and the borders should be the slice between. And uh, you can change every single style you want. So that's how we can style up. And yeah, this is look pretty ugly, but this is just a sample to show how that's working. So let's go back for the for the edits again. If you don't like the backdrops in in the in the model when it's, it's running like that, but when, with this I mean the background here it's like the black overlay. It's a, a little bit transparent, and uh, if you don't like that, we can go back for the editor, and then we can basically just remove it. So let's copy it up here. I just copy the sensor down here, and um, I'll just say backdrop here, model backdrop, and then we just go over and drop backdrop. And uh, drop, drop model, and then say hide. No, not here. We need to go into model now. Hide backdrop, and this should be very simple like that. So that's going back for the, uh, the code here. You can see. But you still have, if you have it in the, the click outside, it should still be here. But the the black backdrop is, is going away and doesn't uh, work uh, in this way anymore. So that's that's how we can do this. So let's going back for for the edit again. We can have a little bit the changes too. Uh, if you want to be sure when you open the the model and you don't close it when you click on the backdrop, you don't want it should be fade. It should not just be displayed. Instantly, you don't want to have it to close when you click on escape key. Then I will show how this is uh, working out. It's uh, pretty simple, so I can just say sample uh, what we call it disable stuff. That's what we're going to call it here. And what we're gonna do now is just say no fade and no close on backdrops and no close on escape and. Uh, Disable stuff, and up here you can say drop backdrops, and it, sh it should working now. If I'm going back for for the browser, I will make that. You can see it's it's working instantly. If I click down here, it will not working, and my key is doesn't work. I need to say cancel and OK. And uh, that's that's how it's working, and that's pretty nice and pretty cool to have. So let's going back for for the editor again. Let's creating the HR here, and uh, the last thing we want to speak about before we are closing this video down, and we're finished. Then it's the custom footer, so we can create the custom footer here. So uh, I'll just call this footer. And then we have up here and say footer and hello world custom footer here. Footer model here. And this stuff we basically just need here should be template, v slot, and then we say uh, model footer. Uh, footer here and then we need the OK and cancel inside, so we can uh, override the functions here. And then we need the button, we need the B button, the B button, sorry. And then we say click and OK, and the variant should be succeeds and OK and cancelled. Cancel here and then danger. That should be working. So let's go back for the browser and see about it's doing. And open the footer and we have OK and we have cancel. So now we can trigger and it's working. Thank you so much to have you here today. And I really hope you enjoy this video. And all the code will be found on my GitHub. 
and you can just scrolling down below in the video and don't forget to subscribe the subscribe button is uh, in the right corner below in the video and i really hope you want to like and share this video too thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye